Taysom Hill is the greatest player in NFL history. Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. The Saints defeat the Seahawks finally back in the win column. That was a much needed win from this team. Had to get this dub because the schedule is coming up. is very, very difficult. And, man, we'll jump right into these stats. We'll go over these stats real quick. Uh, let me pull them up for a second. Andy Dalton, 16 for 24, 187 yards, one touchdown, one bad interception. And then you got rushing. Man, oh, man. Taysom Hill, 9 carries, 112 yards, 3 touchdowns. Elvin Kamara, 23 carries. It's about time. Elvin Kamara got 23 carries, 103 yards. Had a fumble, unfortunate, uh, on a, a pass play. Mark Ingram, 9 carries, 16 yards. We'll get to that when we get to that. Andy Dalton, 7 carries, 4 yards. That's a lot of kneel downs in there. Then we get to receiving. Oh, my God. Elvin Kamara, 6 catches, 6 targets. Crazy how that works. 91 yards. Chris Olave, 4 catches, 54 yards in a touchdown. Troutman, 2 catches, 32 yards in a touchdown. Should have had 2 touchdowns. And let's just start with Taysom Hill, man. What a performance by this dude. Put the team on his back. Every time we needed to play, he made it. Every time Seattle got back in striking distance, Taysom Hill made a play. He was out there blocking. This man recovered a fumble. Four touchdowns. Was playing kick return and was doing everything for the Saints. Everything we needed him to do, he did today, man. I can't be more happy with that performance. Shout out to Pete Carmichael for finally using Taysom Hill. That man should be touching the ball 10 times a game. He's that good. I don't care if it's catching, running, throwing, whatever it is. He needs to just be involved in the game plan. You have all of these weapons. You have to use them. I think, you know, the injuries were a blessing in disguise for the Saints, man. Because without Michael Thomas, without Jarvis Landry, Olave going out, he only could use Taysom Hill. Like, he ha he's a weapon for you. Just use him. So, that was good to see, man, finally getting Taysom Hill involved in the offense. Also, Elvin Kamara, man, 23 carries. Thank God. Use him. He's good. Hey, Elvin Kamara, he's one of the best running backs in the NFL. We just haven't used him. we always putting him on the pitch count. We're always doing this. We're always doing that. Give him the ball and let him run the ball. He's good. And throw him the ball out the backfield. Like, I mean, it's it should not be that hard. It should not be that hard. Now we'll move on to the receivers. I think Chris Olave was having a good game. He did have a scary concussion where it looked like he almost kind of got knocked out for a second. But he walked off the field under his own power. Uh, glad they held him out right there because no need for him to go back in that game. Held on to that touchdown. Um... Uh, as he went out with that concussion, that was a big touchdown from him. Will Lutz also, man. If I'm just, I don't know why Will Lutz just jumped in my brain, but Will Lutz is that guy. Hey, Will Lutz is that guy, man. 56 yard field goal, four for four and extra points. He's the guy. He's the man. Blake Gilligan also, he's the man as well. But back to these receivers, man. Traquan Smith. <sighs> hey, I'm in a good mood, Traquan. He had one catch, ten yards. We'll just leave it at that. Um, we had Keith Kirkwood out there, Marquez Callaway, Jawan Johnson. We just was throwing the ball to any and everybody today just because we didn't. We don't have any weapons out there. All the receivers are hurt. So can't be mad at them. Those guys stepped up when they needed to. Uh, when Traquan Smith actually caught that ball with three minutes left, he tried to run out of bounds. Don't know what he was doing. I'm so glad he got tackled right there. And now we can go to actually some bad things. A, little, a couple bad things happened. Two turnovers. Elvin Kamara fumble. Basically gave up a touchdown at the end of the half. Shouldn't have gave up a touchdown right there uh, because defense just was We'll get to that. We'll get to that, actually. Let's just stay on this offense. Yeah, Elvin Kamara fumble. That was bad. Uh, the Andy Dalton pick, bad throw right there. He just had to put, has to put that ball outside, threw it inside to Traquan Smith, and it was intercepted. And throwing to Traquan Smith would never lead to anything good, so I'm not shocked that that would turn into an interception. I do think Andy Dalton had a solid game, a super, super solid game. I'll give my thoughts on what this means for Jameis Winston and all of that probably you know later in the week, but – the team looking good, man. With Andy Dalton, Taysom Hill combo, they're looking good. Andy Dalton didn't wow us by any stretch of the imagination, but he did look good out there, and he did that with no weapons on offense, honestly, even though Taysom did most of the work, you know, today. Uh, and let us jump to this defense, man. Dennis Allen. I said I was going to give you four to five weeks, you know, uh, your new head coach, obviously. Not a new head coach because you were head coach before, but new head coach for the Saints. It's been five weeks. This defense is shit. The secondary is terrible. These safeties are awful. Tyron Matthew, awful. He should not be starting for the Saints. It's that bad. It's that bad right now. And I say he shouldn't be starting, but who, who the hell are we going to put out there? JT Gray, that man, he just out. Special teams, great. Great on special teams. He should never play safety again in the NFL. Tyron Matthew, he's bad. He's bad. He's bad. He's bad. He's bad. He's bad. I'm sorry. Like I just, it's, it's no way I can put this. He's not the honey badger anymore. I don't know what he is. Ten years in the league. He's getting old. I get it. He's just not the same player, man. He has been awful through five games. I've been trying to hold out because, I mean, it's Tyron Matthew, you know, Justin, new team, new city. Well, not new city because he's from here. But he is absolutely awful, man. On that touchdown to Tyler Lockett down the middle, I have no idea what him and Evans was doing. Lettimore, I mean, not Lettimore, Tyron Matthew was running the opposite way. 
when Lockett was running past him. I have no idea what he was doing, but it's God awful from him. He has to be better if he's going to play safety for the Saints. Just put him in a box. I'm tired of seeing him cover. Well, I mean, he can't tackle either. I just don't know what to do with him right now. If we had a replacement, I would love, you know, to uh, get a replacement in there. But we don't. We don't. We're missing Marcus Williams right now. We are missing Marcus Williams because that safety play was absolutely horrendous today. All right, that was my mini rant. That was my mini rant. I mean, a lot of this falls on Dennis Allen as well, man. You have to get these guys together, especially if the offense is clicking like this. It's no way we should score 39 points and should be, you know, in the balance. Or are we going to win this game or are we not? Also, the refs. I'm just rambling right now, but the ref, y'all tried to cheat us with that false start. That was nonsense. I don't give a man. Don't tell him he didn't jump in the neutral, neutral zone. Yes, he did. His foot was clearly where the ball was. Nonsense. Absolutely terrible call. I'm not shocked. Glad we overcame that because if they would have, that would have lost us the game somehow, I'd have came in here and, and probably just rioted. Also, Paul from the Debo, absolutely bad right now. He's awful. He's got awful right now. I know he was hurt, that ankle injury, so you know, got to get back up to game speed. But look, hey, man, you're awful right now. He has to play better. Adam Thielen cooked them, Metcalf was cooking them, Lockett was cooking them, everybody's cooking them. They're just taking turns, just whipping Pulse on the Debo every week. He has to be better, man. He just has to be better. It's awful out there. The secondary cannot be this bad. He had eight tackles today. It was just like Lattimore last week. Lattimore led the team in tackles when we played the Vikings because he allowed up 30 catches to, to Justin Jefferson. Pulse on the Debo led the team in tackles today. It's never good when your corner is leading the team in tackles. Don't like it. Uh, Pete Warner, absolute dog. He's everywhere. He was second on the team in tackles just because he's always everywhere. Leading the NFL in solo tackles. That dude's a beast. He's been our best player throughout this year. The most consistent player, our best player by far has been Pete Warner, man. He's an absolute dog. Marcus Davenport had a good game. Demario Davis had a good game. Cam Jordan, man. Stud, 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 stud. Had about two sacks today. Uh, was good in the run run game as always. He was good, man. Malcolm Roach, I saw him out there making some plays. The D-tackles made some plays. But we have to get better in the run game, man. The run game has been pretty awful this year, not going to lie. Kendall Walker, 8 carries, 88 yards, 11 yards to carry, 1 touchdown. Rashad Penny, 8 carries, 54 yards, 6.8 yards to carry. That's absolutely awful. They had 21 carries as a team, 151 yards, average 7.2 yards per carry. We cannot have that. Uh, Lockett, five catches, 100 yards, two touchdowns. Metcalf, five catches, 88 yards in a touchdown. We can't have that. Um, I think Adebo might have gave up every last touchdown they had, if I'm not mistaken. That's absolutely awful. We just can't have that, man. We have to get better on defense. This defense is bad. Like I said, I'm happy we got this W, so I'm not going to go too crazy on us. But two and three, we got back in the win column, man. We got a tough, tough schedule coming up. That, that was a must-win game where the season was over. I'm just not going to lie. Uh, Cause we got what Bengals next week. We got the Bengals next week. Then we a short week after that at the Cardinals. Then the Raiders. Then the Ravens. Like it's it's a tough four game stretch coming out. Hopefully we can come out that stretch three and one. That's my that's my goal. You know, put us right at like five and four. I think that'll be good right there. If we go four and zero, even great. But we have to come out above five hundred in these four games or five hundred at minimum. But we'll get into all that later, man. I can't wait to break down the Taysom game film. Just shout out to Taysom one more time, man. He is a man. He is him, Himothy, Taysom, him, Hill. Just just absolute fantastic game from him, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about that game below. And as always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.